Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D P, and today I'm doing another five minute tip and trick. And I want to talk about a plugin for Octoprint. Today I'm interested in the Marlin EEPROM editor. <laughs> this is a, a plugin I've run across recently. What it allows you to do is install it into Octoprint, and then you can use it to edit your EEPROM, but then also back it up and then restore the prom and uh, I'm going to start off by just showing you how to install the plugin. To install the plugin you're going to go to your Octoprint instance, you're going to navigate to the plugin manager and click on get more and then search for EEPROM and there's the Marlin EEPROM editor. I'm going to go ahead and install that. Hit close. It's installed, and then I'll restart Octoprint. And this will take a minute to restart. Okay, I've restarted Octoprint, and then I can go over here to the EEPROM editor. I'll go ahead and hit load. Once I hit load, all the various settings are loaded. Uh, on the firmware info, it tells me which version I'm using, as well as what settings I've turned on or off. And then I can look at what's, how I have my step set, speed rates, acceleration offsets. All well, this is pretty good. Also, I can sit here and edit these values and then save them back to EEPROM. Where I think this is really valuable, at least for me, is the ability to click a new backup so I can back up my EEPROM, I can download it, and then I can also uh, restore that backup. Why is that important? I often like to um, update my firmware, and then in the course of doing that, I often lose or, or reset all my settings, and then I have to recalibrate. I wish I had discovered this last year because pretty much in the past year, every time I've updated my firmware, I've gone ahead and manu manually reset values and in some cases recalibrated. So the EEPROM editor gives me a powerful tool where I literally can go back in and once I reinstalled the firmware, I can load in the last settings I had. That's pretty powerful and it can save me a lot of time. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. I appreciate your time today. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP doing another five minute tip and trick. Again, thanks for your time.